Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek TV at Essence Spiel 2013. I'm sitting down once again with Scott Agostino of WizKids Games. Hello, how What's are up, you? Scott? Oh, no, here to show off a new character expansion for Mage Knight uh, for all the Mage Knight fans out there. And uh, hopefully, if you, if you haven't played Mage Knight, please do. Fantastic, epic fantasy game from uh, Vlada Shvatil. And uh, we're excited to premiere here at Essen this new character expansion to add a new playable character. So mm. breathes new life into the game. You originally had four characters. We had one expansion, Mage Knight Lost Legions, which added another character that you could play. And now you have a fifth option to play as a, a new playable and character. His name is Krang. He is a, an orc chaos shaman. And we have the, of course, you know, we always like to get the zoom in. Oh, yeah, the, check him out. The minis. He's pretty cool. There he is. And, uh, of course, with this game, uh, with the character expansion, he comes with all the cards and tokens uh, that you need to play him into the, in the game. Um, Mage Knight is a game where you are exploring a, a new land, and uh, the map is opening up in front of you as you go, and you're coming across different enemies to defeat. Um, and each of the playable characters has their own little flavor of how they approach the world. Well, his is all about chaos, so he has a number <laughs> of different effects and abilities. Um, but being an orc shaman, he's also maybe not the nicest guy in the world. Um, so uh, that's one of the fascinating things about Mage Knight is that there's actually what's called a reputation track, which, uh, which allows you, you can do good deeds and bad deeds and uh, that affects your reputation in the game. So when you go to recruit units, if you've been doing a lot of bad things, like... They don't want to work for you, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you can burn down monasteries and take their artifacts, so then it's harder to go to the village and say, hey, do you want to come help me? So <laughs> here we've got a guy that skews a little bit in that direction. Um, and uh, as an example, we've got the standard deck of cards. Uh, the, the core mechanic for Mage Knight is a deck building game and you have your standard set of cards that each uh, character has, but each character has two cards that's unique to them. Uh, with Krang, we have one called Ruthless, Ruthless Coer Coercion, and that allows it's hard you... hard to say by the time know, it's yeah. a Sunday. <laughs> a little tongue-tied there. Um, that uh, gives you more influence uh, to be able to recruit units, but you take a hit to your reputation to do it because you're going in with a with a, uh, an iron fist to uh, basically force them to come help you. Um, we also have uh, one here that's called Savage Harvesting. He is a uh, uh, chaos shaman, so he can draw magic from the land. So when he moves, he'll be able to get uh, mana crystals uh, to help power spells and other abilities. He also have, has a number of unique abilities that are available, uh, available to him and uh, all the tokens that go along with it. Uh, one of my favorite ones I just want to point out here is, uh, oh, where is it? Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, Puppet Master, uh, this one here at the top, and actually it's right here. Uh, this is one where you actually, when you defeat a token unit on the board, you can actually raise it as an undead <laughs> to fight alongside you, so you get to keep it. Uh, it doesn't fight at its full value but you'll be able to add half of its uh, attack and defense to your attack and defense in combat. So it's like you defeat an enemy and then you raise him up and, and have him kind of shamble alongside you. Uh, so it's a lot of fun, a lot of flavor and, and really adds a, a new element to the game. So Mage Knight is a game where uh, there's so much replay value uh, just with all the different missions and scenarios in the game. Uh, there's 11 different scenario games in the core rulebook. But then even when you have a new playable character, you can play through all those scenarios again with a, with a new character. And just to clarify, now this isn't a, a pieces for another player, this is just to add another character to the pool that you can choose from. Exactly. You can add another uh, player if you want. Uh, uh, the, rec the game's designed for four players. Right. It scales to be about an hour uh, per player. So adding another player will just extend that time frame. So if you have the time and the, then you want to do it, absolutely. But uh, but mostly it's the idea is you'll you'll swap out and, and be able to choose uh, this is a new playable character. Yeah. Well, Scott, thank you so much for showing us a prime, the new playable character for Mage Knight. Thank you.